Hey guys, Thruster, and welcome back to another video. Today I am very excited because this is a video I've been wanting to do for a while, and we are going to be looking at my favorite Roblox Studio building plugins. Now, if you guys are um, aspiring builders and want to be more proficient with building in Studio, here are my favorite plugins to use that will definitely help you out when you're building. And overall, this will just make you a much faster and more efficient builder. Now, I have five um, plugins to show off today, and maybe a bonus sixth one, but um, we're just going to get right into it. We're here in our little testing area once again, and we're going to go down the line over the plugins that I really think are extremely helpful. Now, starting over here, we have our circle select and rectangle select. These are power selectors, and let me see who this is uh, made by real quick. <laughs> oh yeah, part, uh, okay. power selectors by, uh, by Zaza, and uh, make sure you're just... Um, actually getting the one by these developers um, uh, before you get any because some of them could be viruses yes I know that may seem uh, kind of crazy but yes people can make uh, people maliciously make virus plugins so just make sure you get the ones that are made by these um, exact creators now we're just gonna go ahead and look at this some of these um you might have seen in a, a robot video but you know I'm not trying to copy him it's just that these are things I genuinely think are extremely helpful now this comes with a handy little uh, kind of little hint or uh, tutorial text at the top that you can follow but as you can see it is basically just like blender circle select and also rectangle select now as you can see this makes selecting parts a million times easier I mean sure you could just click and drag those but say we had uh, those parts back there but we still wanted to select uh, just like some parts over here and we didn't want to select that stuff in the back oh you can just uh, use a circle select you know grab whatever parts you're exactly like over now <laughs> I don't think that's really helpful uh, it looks better if I showed an actual map so I think I'm gonna go hop in an actual map and then we can go ahead and see how it works now we're over here in find the bananas and we're gonna go ahead and use circle select and let's go say I want to select some terrain so say I want to select just these rocks you know I could just very easily click and drag this over all the rocks I wanted and not uh, that just makes selecting things a million times easier. Now say we say we accidentally select some of that and we don't want that. What we can do is we can hold shift and it'll turn it kind of pinkish purple and we just click and drag over something and then it'll deselect it. So we can easily select and deselect stuff and you don't even have to hold shift to select multiple things. Um, you don't have to like order control or anything. You know, just easily click and drag, no extra work. Boom, select to something we didn't want. Just Unselect it with shift, there we go. Uh, we can also use control and uh, mouse wheel and this will make our selection bigger or smaller. And uh, say we just want to get a little more precise, so say we want to select some of this tree stuff. There we go, a little more precise. Easy. Now, <laughs> that's really awesome. I actually didn't have that one up until probably like a month ago. I don't know, but I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what I was doing without it for uh, so long, but you know, I I'm so glad I found it because uh, it just makes everything a million times easier. As you can see, we can also do rectangle select and then we can unselect stuff that we didn't want as well. Um, just like this, you know. So we don't want all that. Boom, there we go. There we go. Now we have just the stuff we wanted selected. selected. Also, while we're in here, remember to play Find the Bananas. Uh, we will be dropping an update pretty soon and we also do have another game coming out very soon as well. So definitely stay tuned for that. I will be posting more update videos on this if you guys uh, would uh, like the video that would actually show me. Uh, because I know a lot of people do like this game and we are almost at 50k visits. So go play the game if you haven't. Um, but anyways, moving on to our next plugin. Which is actually, um, you know, this could be our bonus plugin that I'm going to show off in this video. This is um, just a little, uh, this just brings back a Roblox feature that was removed a while ago. Uh, which are surfaces. Now we can see in this little retro area we have these universal stud textures on everything and these aren't just like an applied texture to every single part. These are just using this surface plugin. Now resurface by um, CSQRL brings back the surface tool and we can just select uh, any part that we want and we can just go ahead and start applying the classic Roblox materials to it. Now um, I didn't work on that one because it's not plastic, but these only uh, work on plastic, so let's actually <laughs> let's put let's do studs. Uh, as you can see here, if we uh, just work and grab weld, you know, and then hold shift, 
there we go and also control will apply on all sides as well now let's go ahead and undo that and uh and we'll move on to our next plugin actually i'm gonna <laughs> leave this again go back in our tutorial place because this will be a little easier to demonstrate but this next one is called studio build suite and studio build suite is a plugin made by uh <laughs> let me find it studio build suite is made by uh Fra fractality and this is basically like f3x if you have used f3x but just very kind of lightweight because it doesn't have all the features of f3x but it does have all the necessities now we have our movement pivots or, or uh, rotating excuse me um scaling and uh, all that stuff now i personally like this more than f3x just because the ui is first of all a little cleaner and it is a little bit cleaner to work with because you know once the uh you move your mouse away it'll just kind of go off your screen uh but if we uh go ahead and use our resize tools these are my favorite things to use just because of how very very handy they are um not really uh haven't really used these much but if we use resize world um well we can use resize object but since the objects are kind of facing different ways it's not gonna do how you want but resize world is single-handedly the best part about this plugin now as you can see uh, say with studio tools, let's just go ahead and use studio scaling. Um, say we wanted to move, scale out both these parts this way. Yeah, you can see uh, kind of a common issue that people have known about. Well, not an issue, it's kind of an intended feature, but it's something that people would really like to have. So, resize world, there we go. Scale it out, <laughs> easy peasy, there we go. So, F3X functions the same with their scale tool, but I just prefer studio build suite in general. I definitely recommend this more than um, F3X and we also have a conversion option on here which you can convert any part into any other type of part as well. Um, now, okay well I guess that one's gone forever but our next plugin is uh, actually Archimedes and everyone should know about Archimedes um, but there is a new Archimedes version if you haven't heard. I think RealBitter might have done a video on this but Everybody knows about Archimedes, but this version is way, way more pleasant to the eyes. It looks way cleaner, way easier to understand because as you can see, if we hover over any of these faces, then it will actually show us the kind of direction that we want it to go instead of having to kind of click through all of them and kind of experiment with them. As you can see here, we can see exactly which side we want. There we go, we can adjust our angle as well. Uh, we can also collapse any of these menus as well whenever we want. And controlling our, uh, our control properties down here, control settings, whatever, uh, they're actually way easier to use as well because uh, flip axis, swap sides, those are just a little bit easier to understand. Um, you know, enable, and then we also have our alignment options uh, and amount, which uh, will be how many uh, steps we render. So say let's uh, let's do three. Let's render three steps. There we go. So we don't have to try just rendering them over and over just like spam clicking if we want an exact amount there we go but we can also render all as well which is just makes it a circle there we go <laughs> pretty smooth um yeah so basically the same as archimedes was before but i definitely recommend getting it now um and it is also made by scriptos and uh, make sure it's just by hand because i know this is a very popular plugin so there might be some fake versions out there Moving on to our next plugin, which is Brush Tool. Everybody knows about Brush Tool. Um, this one should kind of speak for itself. Let me actually go ahead and pop in a different studio place just to kind of show this off a little bit better. Now, everyone kind of knows about Brush Tool as well, but for those of you who don't know, it kind of makes placing stuff very easy. Build maps very quickly. As you can see, we have all sorts of settings. We can add different objects here, and we can set our radius to kind of our movement size. Um, or kind of placement size, yeah. Spacement, or <laughs> spacement, spacing. Uh, there we go. Uh, we can change how far apart there's space, so we can have consistent placing for everything. We can make it even as little as this. We can have huge clusters of stuff. <laughs> I don't recommend that, but there we go. As you can see, if we have a very high spacing, then uh, very, very, very uh, spread out as well. So you can control this as much as you want, but we also have a different setting such as rotation. So we can have a random rotation from 0 to 360 degrees. And we can also have 
um, scale. So we can have a random scale. You know, we could have a one to two. We could have any sort of value we want. One to five. There we go. <laughs> Huge flowers. Um, but we can also change our wobble, which will basically kind of tilt it um, side to side. We can have this at 10 degrees. As you can actually, let's make it a little more extreme so you can see. As you can see, they all kind of have different tilting on them. You can make this as big as uh, 90 degrees. There you go. You can really see them <laughs> tilting all over the place. Um, definitely makes placing stuff very easy, but we also have a stamp tool, which you can select one individual thing at a time. You can activate your stamp, and you can kind of have the same settings, but you can also have a click and drag. So you can click and drag with your rotation, and this makes it um, better for individual placement of objects to kind of have more control. And now finally moving on to our last plugin, which I use, which is Resize Align. And Resize Align does what it kind of, um, basically does what it says in the name. You can resize uh, an object to align with another. So click this face, click that face. Now suddenly these are matching up perfectly. No uh, fiddling around with the spacing by uh, scaling it or anything. Uh, so we also wanted to have a part up here. We could. If you wanted to expand this across very quickly, just grab these two faces. There you go. Perfect roof. Now, this is one of the most handy building features because I know a lot of people would use um, gap fill. But say you have two curved objects. Let me just find... Yeah, let's just take a chunk out of this one. Now, uh, take a couple chunks out. There we go. Instead of gap filling to have this abysmal mess, um, especially if you had a uh, different type of gap fill, that made all of these, ew, all of those little wedges, nasty little wedges. There we go. Just resize line, boom, resize line, perfectly meets the edges. Obviously, I kind of uh, didn't do this as good as I should have. Let's just redo that, but here we can scale these in. So instead of having to uh, line up everything perfectly, uh, we can just kind of have resize line do it for us. And, uh, Oh yeah, our last two plugins, our brush tool is made by uh, Zaza once again, he made power selectors as well, and uh, resize line is made by Stravin. Stravin also has all these other useful plugins, uh, just to kind of demonstrate some of these other plugins real quick. We have um, Reflect, which, uh, which kind of reflects your entire model, so let's grab this and Reflect, and we can select the face, click it there, there we go, boom, reflects it perfectly. You can use this for all sorts of things. Next one is Material Flip, and Material Flip is super useful because if you have materials that aren't facing the right way, so say these are these planks are going that way, and you want these to uh, also go parallel with them and the wall. Just Material Flip, click whatever face, um, and say this side was facing that way, you can click it to uh, fix it as well. You can also do it with wedges too, and basically what it does is it actually resizes the parts in like the other directions and changes the rotation and stuff, pretty sure. But um, it's very, very useful for making everything line up exactly how you need. Um, also good for custom textures as well. But anyways, that's kind of all I have to show for today's video. If you guys enjoy, remember to please like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Dev Center Discord, the Bananas Motor Discord, play find the bananas, all that. And stay tuned for our new gamer reveal, hopefully very soon. Um, anyways, thanks for watching, and peace.